Hi students, I welcome you all in lecture number 25 in which uh, we will see how to do optimization in the WordPress and how to make the websites optimized, fully speed optimized. Okay, so what we will learn today. First of all, we'll see uh, if we're using a less complex theme, which is not so much heavy, but still uh, like fulfilling our demands. And uh, then we'll, at the step number two, we'll see that if we're using any unnecessary theme or plugins, so we're gonna remove that. At number three, uh, we will see that if there is some kind of update available in our plugins or theme themes or any kind of updates uh, present the dashboard, and we will see that health screen of the dashboard if the dashboard uh, of the website is healthy and it is up to date or not then we will uh, learn uh, of a plugin which is a premium plugin wp rocket okay uh, and it is a pro uh, version of the wp rocket which we will uh, like sometimes buy and apply it onto our wordpress website <coughs> sorry and uh, this provides us some med with many features and uh, like they are uh, there are many premium features available in wp rocket then we will see what is a lazy load uh, thing and uh, what is the concept of lazy load and how it is it helps us in optimizing different kind of uh, websites and images Okay, then we will see what is a 301 redirect, why uh, it, it happens and uh, why it is necessary to uh, like uh, save our website from 301 redirect. Then we will see uh, another plugin which is Smash and it is very much useful plugin for optimizing all of the images, all of the media present in your website. And uh, by optimizing your images, uh, your website gets like 50 to 60 percent faster than the previous one then uh, we'll see that what is a thumbnail and why we regenerate thumbnails sometimes we add different media to our website and, and like one uh, image is like this and another image is, is just like in this in size so we are gonna have to regenerate them and uh, make them all equal in size and then we'll also make uh, the changes in the extension of the all images. Uh, we'll uh, change it to WebP extension uh, rather than we'll not use the JPG or PNG. This will also like uh, be helpful in optimizing the website uh, image wise. Then we'll see if uh, how to do database reset and how to delete all the unnecessary coding, uh, which will come through any of the plugins or themes. Uh, suppose if we have a Florida uh, theme, but now we don't need it, but it is still present in the database. So we'll see that how to reset those things and how to reset the residual thing from all the plugins, all, all the themes and all the unnecessary uh, coding in the database, how we can remove them. Then we will see uh, some uh, little detail about caching, what is a cache and how we just get rid of caching. And uh, we'll also delete some unnecessary plugins. And uh, if we want to reset our, uh, our total WordPress dashboard scores, if we are done with one kind of website and we, uh, we, we are de developing a website onto our server, but it is for a customer and a customer has no uh, hosting provider so what we do is we develop the website on our site and then we export it and import it on the customer's hosting when he'll buy it and uh, then uh, when we'll be back to our hosting so we're gonna have to reset all of the wordpress including the database so we can just make another uh, website onto our server okay the uh, task is to practice this uh, class on your servers and uh, in the very next lecture or maybe after the next lecture i'll be assigning you with the uh, one more assignment or maybe it will be a final project so i will uh, give you a complete documentation of that okay so let us quickly move towards the browser first of all we'll see that what is our theme okay 
So this is our main dashboard and current site status health status is good. Where we can find this, we can go to screen options and here the site health status is. It shows us that what needs to be improved. Okay, so first of all, uh, going to the flow, we'll go to the themes. And uh, we will see that what number of themes we're having and if uh, these are more than one, this cause unnecessary space. So uh, I'll just go to, uh, because I'm, I'm using this active theme is Ocean WP, I don't want this theme. So I will just simply remove it. So it will just uh, make my speed of the website to load faster because every theme has its own um, theme files, CSS files, JavaScript files, and images and plugins. So there are a lot of things. Okay. So uh, we have uh, disabled the theme and I have made this enable auto update. So whenever it, it has some update, with the, uh, by the theme provider, it will get automatically updated. Okay, then uh, what is the next thing? Delete all the unnecessary themes and plugins. Uh, okay, first of all, this is not a very complex theme. If we uh, search for the fastest WordPress themes, Ocean WP comes in the list. Ocean WP team speed. Okay. Is Ocean WP fast? Ocean WP renowned for being a fast WordPress plugin and it delivers. Sorry, it is not plugin, it is a theme. It is like mistakenly written by any of the um, writer here. And okay, 11 fastest WordPress themes ranked. Okay, it should be in 11, I guess so. So let us go and check. Okay, GT metrics is a site where you can check the speed of the word, uh, any of the website. Okay. Uh, First of all, we have Hello Elementor. It is default theme uh, provided by Elementor as, uh, uh, as well. And uh, because Elementor is a page builder, but it also has its own theme. Okay. Uh, it is a uh, page, page uh, speed score is 99%. And it's fully loaded time is 1.2 seconds, very fast. Okay, page, page size is 24 KB only. Okay, these are from different insights, big pingdom, page speed, byte check, and conclusion is this is the fastest. Then we have Neve theme. Then uh, we have our uh, number three, Astra. And at number four, we have Generate Press. At number five, we have Page Builder Framework. At number six, we have Ocean WP. Okay, the Ocean WP has a professional look for small businesses and agencies by default. That's why I use it because it is like uh, present on the sixth number of the very fastest. And I rank it on the first because it has the maximum number of customization options. And it is uh, like suitable for all kind of plugins. And it is like supported by Elementor and every type of tool builder. Okay. And uh, it has 98% paid speed score and fully loaded time is 1.4 second. Okay. And request is 20, paid size is 251 KB. Okay. So we are using one of the fastest themes. Okay. Now we'll go to plugins. Open it a new, in a new tab. And then plugins are being uh, refreshed and we'll see that what are unnecessary plugins. So this was from the last lecture. This is not necessary. Forminator is for forms, but we can make forms through Elementor Pro. So this is not necessary. 
cookie consent is not necessary this is also from the old lecture hustle is for pop-up live sales notification not necessary maintenance not necessary and user all editor from the old website this this is where we want to see that which is necessary thing for according to our customer demand or according to our business demand and uh, which is not necessary so we're gonna have to uh, deactivate and delete them okay then i'll go to deactivate a good and fast website must have like near about 15 plugins okay so i'll go to inactive because right now these are inactive uh, first of all we have to make them inactive in order to delete them we cannot directly delete them i'll show you what i mean first of all i am into inactive the uh, plugins and i'm deleting them one by one <sighs> Okay, so these theme, uh, plugins also like very uh, uh, huge spaces and uh, that's why I have uh, disabled the unnecessary themes. So uh, this will take less space on the server and it will make our file uh, site load more faster. So I'm done with the first and second part then we're gonna have to see the all of the updates present okay everything should be up to date so i'll go to this this is also for the updates and it is showing me that it has one update okay so i'll uh, click this point here on the top bar and okay current version is 5.8.2 and you have the latest version of the WordPress, so we don't have to uh, reinstall the version. Okay. Okay, it has only one plugin uh, update, so I'll just update this. And uh, themes are all up to date. Ocean WP is current, our, our current theme, and it is up to date. Right now, uh, I am updating this plugin. So it is saying that, uh, first of all, it enabled maintenance mode then uh the plugin got uh, start updated and now it is updated successfully and disabling the maintenance mode all updates have been completed go to the plugins page okay so every um, of the theme uh, theme then plugins are updated so uh, we have 11, nine are, uh, nine are automatic enabled. So whenever you're using some kind of uh, pro plugin, it will uh, be disabled automatically because if it is automatically uh, updated, so no one will ever uh, buy this after one year or two year because it is automatically getting updated. So pro version are uh, updated by the developer every year or every uh, maybe every month. But at the end of every year, you're going to have to repurchase it or, or like the license, renew the license by paying them. So if, if it will get automatically updated, no one will ever gonna go to update uh, the new pro version. So that's why it is disabled by default. And this one is uh, can be enabled auto updates. So I will uh, make it auto update. Okay, so now these are 10 and this is only one. <sighs> okay. And I'll just check with the every notification present in uh, my dashboard. And I don't want these comments. So I just uh, want to make them trash. OK, cool. So next thing is WP Rocket. OK, so what is WP Rocket plugin? WP uh it is a caching plugin uh, and it says that you can just speed up your website into only three minutes wp rocket is an open source web performance premium plugin for wordpress the plugin using uh, uses caching to accelerate website loading times and it was launched on 2013 
and it has 1.6 million active installs okay if we'll uh, just open the link wprocket.me so it has a complete website where you can buy it here and by signing in and it is uh, sh uh, showing that that it has a high performance it is very much easy to use it has great support etc etc so i'll just go to the pricing straight away so for a single website for a single license we're gonna have to pay 49 dollars for plus we're gonna have to use 99 dollars and it is for one year and supported for three websites it is for one year supported for one website and for infinite it has four to 49 dollars and it is for one year but for unlimited websites you can use it anywhere so if you want the price in it in euro you can switch this currency switcher okay so it is showing that it has 100 percent many back guarantee because if you don't get the results similarly so we're gonna have to uh, upload it i have it here go to plugins okay i have it here and i'll just go to add new and i'll add wp rocket and first of all let me add this to your canvas as well because uh, that's how you can uh, have to download the plugin and you can just upload it because you also need uh, to perform this assignment uh set this task and uh, okay stay sign in so, okay i will go here and i'll add a file create file choose file okay then okay this wp rocket add item okay so this is now present in your canvas you can download it from here as well okay then i'll upload the plugin here and i'll install it now Okay, so believe me, this is very good plugin for uh, doing, uh, for making your website faster. Okay, so I'll just activate the plugin. Okay, then we're gonna have to go to settings. Okay. Uh, remove these notification for pay for uncached pages have now been preloaded okay first of all it just removes the cache memory and cache memory and then it reloads the page once again into the server just to uh, make it faster okay stop reload first of all now okay cool then allow this to collect non-sensitive diagnostic data from the website okay now remove these notifications here 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 okay and refresh the info licenses infinite expiration date is 2091 okay so this is the very premium version i have okay so you also have the cdn available so this is the dashboard of the uh, WP Rocket. You can clear cache of all of the website from here as well. Right now, if it has any type of caching present, so it will clear that, remove the notifications. Okay, first of all, we are going to the settings of the mobile caching. 
enabled and separate cache file for mobile devices. We have two devices, like one is desktop and one is mobile. So we are making that cache for one mobile is separate and desktop separate, okay. Okay, then uh, we are enabling the caching for logged in WordPress. What caching does, it just, it just uh, suppose if I'm opening this site, this page is being loaded into our cache memory. So for me, I am a logged in user. It will just capture the whole website into its cache. And whenever I try to log in again, it will just reload the cache and it will just boom very fastly load. It will not load from the first point from default. Okay. So this is what user cache does. And it, it will be in the cache for 10 hours, okay, you can increase or decrease it here. And then, okay, just save changes at every step. Okay, uh, yes, file optimization and CSS. So, okay, what is minification? Right now, if you open your source, control this is done by control plus u okay so this was uh this is what minification does so this is like uh if we write coding suppose if i'm opening this tool for coding so we write coding one line another line another line by giving a proper spacing okay uh Suppose if I'm opening this thing and I am writing a code, okay, not here. And save as. Okay. Uh, how to rename it? Let me rename it first because I don't, I want to make it HTML file. Um, okay, let me go to any folder which already has some coding because I want to show you one concept. XAMPP HD docs, my PHP. Okay, I'm selecting this folder. It has the complete website with the all coding. So I'll just open this. This is what uh, coding is. Okay, so I'm go going into the CSS. Okay, so we write CSS like this. <clears throat> One line and another line, another line, and everything is like, written uh, in a symmetry. So uh, it has like many white spaces here, 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 here. So every space like uh, takes its time to get read one by one. So what we do is we minify it. We suppose what is what minification means. If I do this, it doesn't make any difference. Okay, if I do this, it also doesn't make any difference. This, this still working, okay? Still working and it will still work. But before that, it was on the like five to six lines. Now it is easily readable on the single line, okay? This is what the minification is. So our WordPress uh, has default CSS provided by the theme provider. So what we do is we apply minification, okay? So we are gonna have to minify the CSS. Yes, I want to activate it. Combine CSS file, enable minify CSS file to select, yes. Optimize CSS delivery, yes. JavaScript minification is also necessary. So yes, 
tick mark this thing as well load javascript deferred deferred eliminate render okay it eliminates the blocking of any unused javascript and delay you can have to save this as well so we are done with the second option uh go to media okay lazy load it can improve the actual perceived loading time as images i frame that videos will be loaded only as they enter or about to enter the viewport and reduces the number of http requests okay this is complete viewport okay so what it does if we are scrolling down if the image is present here so when i will get to this point it will then load that image it will not just if we have like thousand images in our wordpress website so if our website is loading for the first time so it will not just try to load all of the thousand images okay so whenever we are about to reach or we reach that viewport it just loads at that time so i'm enabling for iframe and videos and images and uh, add missing image dimensions yes save changes okay these three are the main uh, for uh, precisely these three are the main now we are going to preload and okay save changes okay then we'll go to advanced rules we don't have to put anything here because this is for advancement if we want to like do any other thing but these are not necessary okay so this is what the cleanup of the database how to clean the different things which are present with different revisions 413 revisions are present which is unnecessary in your database two drafts and 76 trashed posts are still in the database so spam comment trash comments all transient optimize your tables schedule automatic cleanup okay no uh save changes and optimize okay uh next thing is cdn what is a cdn okay what is a cdn a content delivery network or content distribution network is a geographically distributed network of a proxy server in the website uh, cdn means it uh, like make uh, every content into separate chunk so that means content delivery network and these chunks are, are integrated with each other so uh, i'll just enable the default cdn present it was just showing me at the premium one and I'll just save changes. Okay, then we have next option heartbeat and add ons are in the premium feature. And will be done image optimization by a separate plugin, not with this, uh, with the smash. And tools are related to the uh, this. Uh, WP rocket plugin and tutorials we don't want because right now this is one kind of tutorial so um, I'm going to address rules database CDN okay heartbeat control heartbeat reducing disabling the heartbeat API activity to get can help save some of your servers resources okay reduce activity reduce activity reduce activity okay save changes okay it is uh, going to optimize it uh, the website this wp rocket okay so this is this was the only things which were needed to configure in wp rocket next thing is what is lazy load and we have covered this lazy load here in the media i guess um 
Yes. Okay. So whenever you'll read the specific point of the viewport, it will then uh, load the images for you. And next thing is 301 redirects. What is 301 redirect? These redirection are for SEO. These are very well, very much helpful in search engine optimization. Okay, add new. Next things are smash, regenerate thumbnails, web P. So write 301 and see that if any of the plugin comes, which will help us. Okay, 301 redirects, easy redirect manager. It manages 301, 302 redirects. Simple redirection and redirect validation includes redirect stats and 404 error not found. I'm just activating this. Okay, the WP Rocket is giving me the notification of the caching. Okay, 301 redirects where I have it. Here. So it uh, gives us the benefit of redirecting to a specific portion or specific page whenever we encounter some kind of error. And it is also premium, okay. Uh, these are rules, links, scanner, tools, and option support. And next thing is Smush. Okay, this is also another tool but it will conflict with the WP rocket because it also gives us image optimization, but it is not reliable that much. That's why I use Smush personally, okay. Lazy load images optimize and compress your all of the images. And next thing would be regenerate thumbnails, WPP WebP. Regenerate thumbnails. Okay. And web. WebP converter for media convert WebP and optimize the all of the images. That's what I was telling you. Okay, just activate the last one and it will automatically ask for the inactive plugins. Okay. And I'll activate them. Okay, for regenerate thumbnails, we're gonna have to go to tools and regenerate thumbnails. Okay. I'm regenerating the thumbnails. And what about smash here? Dashboard. And we're gonna have to go to bulk smash in order to check the all of the system entirely. Okay. We are just beginning with the setup. And it is checking our images. So whatever is the default faulty image, it will bring us and we'll just smash it, okay.
so it is checking the messages sorry images okay so this is the dashboard for the smush and it is showing that we need to optimize 145 attachments so i'll just bulk smush it now and uh, we are also done with these two and w webp and wp reset reset okay so this is with the smushing and this is with the regeneration um web p okay so i'm gonna have to go to plugins here okay okay web p i'm going to the settings So this quality is right now is at 85% of the website. Regenerate images. Okay. Uh, then we're gonna have to see WP 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 reset and WP fastest cache. Okay, so first of all, we'll go, go into plugins here and add no WP reset, WP reset, okay. Reset. So install and activate this. Then uh, I've deleted the unnecessary plugins and WP reset or WP reset is the same thing. Okay, let's activate this one. Okay, let me go to another website just to show you how to erase all the data by WP reset. WebP, WebP. Okay, I'll go to the admin panel here. Uh, log in. Okay, so there's maybe old password. Okay, so it is changed, but okay, let me show you here. Open the reset tools. So it will just reset every theme, plugin, and everything in the website and just make it a new, brand new. WordPress installed dashboard. Reactivate the theme, reactivate the current theme, WPD set plugin, and all of your active plugins. And you just have to type reset here and reset the site. Okay. 
and WP fastest cache is the same as WP rocket. So it's up to you that if you want to install it or now. So I hope you liked the today's lecture. And if you have any queries, must ask them in the class. Thank you for today's lecture. Bye for now.